My name is Taylor Jackson. I am Sergeant of Kenton County Animal Control and we have five animal control officers that service Kenton County. Depending on the time of the year and how calls go, it can range anywhere from five calls one day to 28 the next. The most common calls we receive are dogs running at large, dog bites, community cats. We come across a lot of calls where people will be like, whoa, rogue horses to dealing with raccoons to um, owls that have fallen out the nest to dogs that have been starved almost to death uh, to cats that have been hit by cars. It really just, you never know what you're gonna come in contact with. Our officers, while they are in the field responding to calls, we also assist in the shelter, vaccinating animals, holding animals during surgery. We'll assist with different donations, drop off food to people that are in need. If someone needs a harness or a muzzle, we're happy to assist in any way that we can. A big case that sticks with me, there was a person experiencing homelessness and we were able to assist with their multiple cats and dogs and rehoming them, but then at the same time, assisting in finding housing so that way she could keep a certain percentage of the animals. Another case that I have personally handled was a dog chained up in the backyard to a very short chain. The house had been abandoned and it being extingent circumstances with the dog in the backyard starving in another deceased dog in the backyard, we were able to get that dog same day and take it to the shelter. He's actually doing great now. He's put on weight. He turns out he is blind, but he's a great dog all around. He's in the foster home, has not officially been adopted, but he's thriving. The Kent County Animal Services team overall and the animal control officers that I work side to side with every day are all around amazing. The different personalities, everyone can change on the drop of a dime and I can trust them to make the right decisions out in the field. My name is Captain Mike Brock. I'm with the Independence Police Department. We're here talking about Kenton County Animal Control. They are an extension to our community resources. Part of what they do is they respond to all animal emergencies. That includes dog bites and aggressive animals. They also pick up stray animals for citizens having issues or see an animal that's wandering on its own. Another extension of their services is that they investigate animal cruelty and neglect. Part of this is going through courts, having to write citations to citizens that are not being compliant with that. And this is a safety feature for not only our citizens, but the city as a whole. Hi, I'm Kelsey McCombs, Director at Kenton County Animal Services. We are the animal control agency and animal shelter for all of Kenton County's 19 cities and unincorporated areas. Something I love about this agency is how our teams work so well together. From the animal shelter side to the animal control side, we work as one unified team team to serve our community. Our team really values collaboration, from assisting local law enforcement on animal related cases, to assisting with other rescues and shelters in our region, to working with social services agencies who assist people experiencing homelessness who may have animals in need. In 2023, our officers responded to over 5,300 calls and brought in 1,100 animals. They're a really hardworking team with unique backgrounds that bring many different perspectives to every case that we work on. Our team is really committed to the best outcome for these animals. So whether it's finding the owners in the field so the animals never even have to enter the shelter or seeing a case through collecting evidence to make sure that people are held accountable for animal related crimes. Our officers, especially when we find an animal at large who's in good condition, they work very hard to find its home before they ever enter the shelter system. This is all because we don't want more animals in shelter. If they are in a home where they are cared for and loved, that's where we want them. In my career, this is the strongest animal control team I've ever worked with, and I'm so proud of each and every one of them, and so excited to celebrate them for National Animal Control Appreciation Week.